Hello everyone. Welcome to another interesting tutorial on SQL insert by simply code. In today's session, we'll learn how to use the insert statement in SQL. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to our channel simply code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. Firstly, let us understand the agenda for today's session. Firstly, we'll start the tutorial by understanding what is SQL insert and then we'll understand the syntax of SQL insert statement and finally, we'll go through some of the SQL insert statements and execute them in MySQL workbench. So, what is SQL insert statement? SQL insert statement is widely used command in SQL which is a part of data manipulation language DML used by various relational databases. The insert command is used for inserting one or more rows into a database table with specified table column values. Let us now understand the syntax for insert statement. Now we have two types of syntaxes. The first method is insert into table name values and within the brackets you have to mention the values. In this first method, there is no need to specify the column names where the data will be inserted you need to only insert their values. The second method specifies both the column name and the values which you want to insert. And the syntax is insert into, which is the keyword we are using. After that, we have to mention the table name and within the brackets, we have to mention the columns and then values, values one, values two, values three, and so on up to our requirement. So this was the syntax. Uh, let us take an example. Now let's say I've created a table students and I want to insert values into it. So the syntax for inserting the values is insert into table name. I'm taking here it as students and I'm mentioning the columns, roll number, name, age, city. And I'm inserting the values as roll number as one, name as Rohan, age as 22 and city as Hyderabad. So in this way you can insert values up to n number of rows into your uh, table. So now that we've understood and got an idea of what SQL insert statement is, let us jump into MySQL Workbench and do the execution part. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. As you can see, MySQL Workbench has started and uh, in order to insert the values into the table, we have to first create a table. So let us first create a table and the syntax is followed as create table, which is the keyword that we use. And I'm creating a new table that is customer and which has column names as customer ID, customer name, their age, address, the product they have purchased and the purchase date of the product. And I'm taking primary key here as customer ID because it uniquely identifies each and every record. So let me just use the select statement to uh, display whether uh, the table is created or not. Select star from the table that is customer. So as you can see, our table is successfully created with the uh, column names that we have specified. Now that we have created a table, let us see how to insert the values into it. For that, First, let us discuss the insert into value statement. The insert into value statement is used to insert either all the column values or a specified number of column values in the table. Inserting only specified column data in the row requires the column name should be specified in the insert statement. So let's say if I want to insert all the uh, columns uh, into the customer table, the following query would be insert into table name which is the customer now within the uh, brackets we have to mention the column names so the columns that we have taken are customer id customer name their age address product that they've purchased and the purchase date close the brackets now mention the values keyword and again within the brackets specify the uh, values for each of the uh, columns. So I'm taking a customer ID as 
uh, let's say 1011 comma customer name uh, let's say Rahul now make sure you uh, mention the character values inside the single quotes and for integer values you need not mention the uh, single quotes next their age let's say 25 comma address uh, let's say uh, the city they belong to is the address so i'm taking here uh, as hyderabad comma next the product that they have purchased let's say they have uh, let's say rahul has purchased the phone as the product and finally purchase date uh, let's say 2022 uh, march and let's take date as uh, 25 so close the brackets and uh, put the semicolon. So let us execute this statement and see. So as you can see, our uh, query has been successfully executed. Now to display the values, I'll use the uh, set command again. So let us execute the statement. So as you can see, the values have been uh, successfully inserted into our table uh, with respect to their columns as customer ID, customer name, age, address, product, and the purchase date. So here we've inserted a row with all the column values using the insert statement. Similarly, you can insert a row with only specified column values as well. Uh, let's say if you want to insert data for only the columns, customer ID, customer name, and the product they've purchased, and leaving the rest of the columns as such, the following query would be insert into table name, mention the table name that is customer, and within the brackets, mention the columns that you want to enter the values. So I'm only entering the values for customer ID, customer name, and the product that they've purchased. And mention the uh, keyword values. Open the brackets and uh, specify the uh, values as accordingly. So I'm taking uh, customer ID as uh, 1012, customer name, let's say Kavya. And the product that they've purchased is, let's say, uh, as AC. Close the brackets, mention the uh, semicolon, and let us execute the statement. So as you can see, our query is successfully executed. So let me display the values, and I'll use the select statement to display the values. So as you can see, only the customer ID, customer name, and the product that they've purchased is being displayed here and leaving the rest of the uh, columns that is age, address and the purchase date as null values. So in this way, you can also insert uh, values into only the specified uh, columns of the table. Next, let us discuss about insert multiple rows statement. We can insert multiple rows in a single insert statement at a time. We can insert multiple row values by grouping row values with open and close brackets and separating each row with a comma. Now, if you want to insert, uh, let's say, hundreds of records and insert values into it, uh, it will take a lot of time. And it in the, at the same time, it will become hectic if you specify the column names each and every time. So in order to uh, reduce that uh, and insert the values quickly, we use this multiple statement. So let's say if I want to insert uh, new values insert two rows of employee id uh, 1013 and 1014 so that following query would be insert into customer uh, that is the table name and within the brackets uh, so before entering the values you have to mention the keyword values and you can directly enter the values now without mentioning the column names So as you can see, I've inserted two rows and the data into, into the table. So let me just execute the statement and uh, let us see the output. So as it, our query has been successfully executed. Uh, let me use the select statement to display the new values. So as you can see, uh, the customer ID uh, 1013 and 1014 details uh, has been displayed. So in this way, you can use the uh, insert multiple statement uh, to insert uh, multiple rows into the table so just 
keep a note that make sure uh, you insert the values accordingly in the order of the columns that you have taken in the table and with that we have come to the end of today's session that was all about sql insert statement i hope you have found this tutorial useful and informative thank you for watching the video guys if you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in the tutorial feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries until next time stay safe and keep coding